I'm Katie Kent. I teach in English and Women's and Gender Studies, and I'm going to talk a little bit about pedagogical strategies for dealing with what we call the talkies or the talkers in the classroom, and that would be the student or students who uh, talk more than everyone else and have a tendency sometimes to dominate the conversation. And that can cause other students to become very frustrated and hostile, or it can also cause students to stop taking responsibility for um, representing their own ideas but letting other students do the work. So um, the, f the best strategy and the easiest strategy is just to refuse to look at the student. Just to do everything you can to point your eyes in other directions to the point that it's obvious that you're ignoring that student. And that can send a message to the talkie or the talker that um, he or she needs to give other people a chance to talk, but it can also send a message to the rest of the students that, um, that you're expecting them to participate. And uh, I will do that three or four times in a row, uh, and often that can help. I will also just say, so-and-so, um, you've responded to the last few uh, comments, let's let other people have a chance for a minute. Uh, and I say that in a very kind of pleasant, non-censoring way, and students are usually happy to do that. Uh, other more structured strategies that I use are uh, to give students tickets at the beginning of the class, and once they've used up their tickets, let's say three, uh, they're not allowed to speak until other people have used theirs. Uh, that can also encourage students who don't talk to participate since they are aware that they need to use their tickets. But it's I don't, I don't make that a big deal in the sense that at the end of the class everyone has to prove that they've, they've used their tickets, but it's a way that sometimes can help with the talkies in particular. Another strategy is to use a discussion chain where I will tell students that um, they need to speak directly to what the last student has said and continue the conversation and try to create a kind of chain where a number of students are involved. Um, and that also directs things away from me, but can also direct things away from a student who uh, tends to dominate. Um, sometimes also I'll have students come in and before we actually start class, write down a set of questions or concerns that, that, that they want covered in the class and uh, I'll collect those and use those as a basis for discussion. And that allows students to feel that their voices are being heard, uh, and often they will then end up responding to their own question. But that can also, uh, again, redirect things away from me and the talkie student. So those are just a few suggestions.